Is there a queen on the third rank or not? Wait, they took there with the queen, then I moved. Then they moved something. Then I moved here. If I take it, am I hanging my queen? Am I hanging my queen if I take it? I have no time. Okay, this this either is really good or really bad, but I don't have time. <laughs> Fog of War. In case you guys haven't seen me play before on stream, I have played this a few times, couple of months back. Fog of War is a game, let me show you the board, where you are not seeing your opponent's pieces. There's literally fog on the chessboard. You will only start seeing the pieces once there is a legal capture. So basically, let's say I push my pawn to d4 and if this bishop, I can't highlight it, but if my bishop could capture a piece, at a point, at any point of the game, then I will see that piece when I can capture it. And the objective of the game is not checkmate, but to capture the king. So you need to give check, discover where the king is, and then capture the opponent's king. That's how you win at Fog of War. I'm gonna get started with the challenges. Diamond OP, I'm accepting your challenge. I haven't played this in ages and I'm a bit nervous, but let's get started okay here we go i already lost 30 seconds of my time but i'm gonna push my e pawn and then hoping that this bishop will start seeing things so if suddenly something appears on a6 or b5 i'm gonna be able to see that piece and capture it if i dare because you'll see at the later stage you're gonna have to gamble a little bit when you capture because you don't always know if that piece is defended or not I'm guessing my opponent has played e5, actually it's 100% sure they played e5 because I can know- Oh <gasps> No! I thought I cannot push e5, but I can! I can push e5, so there's no fog here because my pawn can move there and no fog on h5 because my queen can go there. Okay, I still have zero information, I'm gonna hop out here with the horsey. So my opponent 100% didn't play e5. No, they played e5, but I think this is a trick. I don't think that pawn is hanging. I feel like maybe they push d6 on the first move and this pawn is protected. That would be my guess. I'm gonna attack it with the pawn. Capturing a pawn with a pawn would be better. Trading on d4, I'm gonna take back with the knight because even if there's something on c6. So my opponent played knight c6 on first move. Trading now. So this knight is missing. Uh, I'm gonna need to be very careful with my queen when it comes to knight moves, but this knight cannot attack my queen. Any other piece, if they attack my queen, a rook, a queen, or a bishop, I will see the piece when they attack me. But the knight I wouldn't see because I cannot capture the knight if it's on c6 or e6. Does that make sense? It's pretty confusing this variant, but you guys are gonna get used to it. I'm sure you will get used to it before I do because I'm like, goodness me, I don't want to play the botus gambit. Not in Fog of War either. Not in Fog of War either. Gonna make my camera bigger. As if that would help to see the board better. It doesn't help to see the board better. Does <gasps> Now I see the pawn and that pawn has to be protected by this bishop on f8. There has to be a bishop on f8 and my opponent pushed the e pawn earlier so that pawn is not free. Not free stuff. I'm gonna be just a coward and come back to d1. Better, better a safe square because I know there's nothing here. I could see those squares. And also my opponent didn't have enough time to develop the bishop. Now that bishop could be developed for instance next move after d6. There's a knight on f6. Bishop could go to g4. I'm just gonna play a sneaky bishop to e2. Normally I would like the bishop more on c4, but I'm thinking maybe my opponent will place a piece on g4 and I could take it for free. Well, they didn't because I don't see anything there. Let's castle. Castling is good, usually. I don't see anything. What have they done? What have they played? Let's attack that knight. Let's attack this knight. I know that there is a knight there and I'm gonna take it. Okay, bishop e7 and now bishop f6. If I play knight d5, they can take my pawn and they, they will see the pawn. But if I'm sneaky and I protect the pawn and then I'm gonna jump away with the knight offering the pawn. What do you guys think? What do you think? Will that work? Will that work? Let's try. Um, there's a pawn on c5, right? So nothing can take my knight. Oh, <gasps> queen on b6. I didn't know, but they don't see my knight. If there's no piece that could capture my knight, they cannot know that their queen is hanging. They will not see it. They will only see... Well, actually, they can figure it out because now... 
yeah the main clue was that the bishop started seeing the pawn too so they knew yeah of course they knew it <laughs> because their bishop was seeing the knight before and now it only saw the pawn so even if they couldn't see the square it was obvious that I jumped there and I thought I was sneaky <laughs> I thought I was big brain no small brain let's just shut down that diagonal I'm gonna wait with the capture on f6 just in case just in case I think the knight is a oh <gasps> free stuff they fell for it they fell for it they thought it was free Okay, but now will I fall for this? Is this free or is the queen on a5? Maybe... <gasps> I think they moved the queen to a5 and that's why they thought they could take on c3 because if it was a piece that was protecting it on my pawn, it would have been a good move. So I'm just gonna move up one square because I think this is, this is safe here. Bishop here, queen on a5. I think their queen is on a5. And they're still... There is still a pawn on c5, right? I shouldn't move my rook here. What about just doubling on the b file? I think that could make sense. So I have taken two of their knights and the bishop. They only have as a minor piece this bishop on a4. And I will know when that bishop leaves because I can push my pawn to a4 once the bishop moves. Let's double. Nothing can attack my knight. Um, a pawn. Okay. Um... I think I can take it. Maybe they think my knight will be hanging, but I'm guarding it with the queen. If there's a queen on a5. Perhaps there's a rook on e8 trying to... I don't think they know that all my pieces are staring at that square. I'm gonna take it. That's free stuff. Oh! <gasps> The rook! The rook! I'm seeing the rook, but the rook doesn't see me. That rook doesn't see my bishop. <laughs> that rook does not see my bishop. Oh, the bot is gambit! <laughs> Thank you, Diamond OP, for the game. Let's reveal what happened. Wow, look at these amazing ratings. 1500, my one, two. We are both 1500. Guys, wait with the challenges, please. I just want to show what happened in the game. I'll show it first with the fog on. Please wait with the challenges. I need to show what happened in the game. I'll show it. Oh, no, this is without the fog. I forgot what. You need to press F, no, not F. What do you press to reveal or on reveal? Press, oh, Shift, Alt, F. This is how I saw the game. And I think I just wanted to keep my pieces safe and make sure that I don't blunder anything. It was, it was pretty safe to play the moves I played because for instance, the bravest of moves I, I did was one of them was this night jump, but I knew that there's no pawn on e6 or c6, so it was pretty safe to play it. Um, and here I was like, oh, this is sneaky, my opponent doesn't know it, but they will know it because here's what they saw. Let me show you... Can I show what Black saw? Can I... I'm trying to figure out... Can I show it? No. I, I don't think I can show it from my opponent's perspective, but here's the position. <laughs> This is what the board was like. So it started with... Now, replay. Quick replay of what happened. It was knight c6 on first move, then e5. This is the game. I escaped from gifting three subs, but maybe more, maybe more will come. Maybe more will come. I'm not that confident that I'm gonna win all my games. Yeah, I think the key in my position was that I always knew that my pieces are guarded by at least a few of my other pieces. I didn't know that my pawn on e4 is hanging. I could have guessed that there would be a rook e8 coming at some point, but losing a pawn is not as bad as losing a piece. So I think it's more important that you place your pieces in a way that you know that they will not be hanging. That would be my main clue so far about Fog of War. And yeah, capturing a piece, even when it looks like it's free stuff, is so, so dangerous. Especially once I didn't have a B pawn, and if I have that open file, I, I sure could place my rooks there. Of course, it's, it's never 100% guarantee, but I think you need to be super cautious in Fog of War when it comes to capturing free stuff. Sometimes they are free, sometimes they are absolutely not free. <laughs> Let's get going with the next challenge as well. How's the volume of the music, guys? Is it okay? The volume of our lo-fi beats? Because I don't know. 
I don't know if the volume is good. Challenge me for 10 oh please, guys. Not 3-2, because I'm trying to explain how the game goes and such. I think 10 oh is better. Mm. Volume is good? Amazing. If you guys could challenge me for 10 oh that would be appreciated. Thank you, Adu. Accepting your challenge now. Let's get going with the next Fog of War game. Why do I have the white pieces again? I mean, I'm happy to start with the white pieces, but... It should be alternating. It wasn't E5 because I can push my pawn. I'm learning. I'm learning. I'm going to go with the same opening. What was that? What was that move? I don't see. I don't see. I'm going to expand in the center to see more. Once you open up your diagonal for the bishops, you see a bit more of the board. So it, it is... A Sicilian defense? Yeah, it is a Sicilian defense. So C5, Knight, C6, the first two moves of my opponent. And now there's a pawn on E5 because I can no longer push my pawn. Sneaky! That is sneaky. How can I be sneaky too? If I trade, maybe that's not so sneaky. If I jump away, but those squares aren't that good for the knight. I'll be chased away, right? How can I... You know what? It's Fog of War. I'm gonna try. <laughs> I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to place my knight here. Although I will be... I will be for sure detected once I place the knight on d6. Yeah, and pawn to d6 was a very, very natural response by my opponent. It's okay. We are playing theory, basically. I'm gonna get ready for my knight to be chased away. Once this pawn disappears from my view, I'm gonna have to move the knight. It's okay, we've got this. I'm gonna move the other knight to d5. We are basically playing a Sveshnikov in Fog of War, which is totally not gonna be theoretical in Fog of War. I just need to make sure I don't hang my pieces. That's my main theory. <gasps> pawn! The pawn has disappeared from a7. I gotta move! <laughs> I need to move. And I cannot go back to d4 because there's a pawn on e5 too. There's a pawn here, pawn here. Now my opponent pushes b5, threatening b4. Okay, I'm on d5 now. There's another knight here. So their pawns are here. Uh, knights are on e7 and c6. Knight e7 is a good move. Time for me to pin it. Pin! I think my opponent could push f6, but I will see if they push f6. Yes, it's on the board. The pawn on e5 before I move to f4. Don't forget it, Anna. Do not forget it. Let's just come back to e3. Pawn on a6, b5, no c pawn, d6, e5. The light squares are really weak after f6, and also this b6 square is weak. I could play bishop b6 next move if they let me do it. Nope, they want to trade my knight. Fair, fair enough. I think I'm gonna take it with the queen because no piece... Can take me there? Cross fingers. <laughs> Cross fingers, I didn't forget about something. I'm seeing the knight, but the knight does not see me. The knight does not see me, but it's probably protected. This is one of those situations when my opponent likely has played a move like bishop b7 or queen d7. Likely. Oh no! Wait. I was like, do I see the square? No, I don't see the square. <laughs> I thought there was a clue, but f5 is not a clue. They did not play f5. Bishop b7 or, or queen d7. I think this knight is not hanging. I think it's not hanging. I'm too scared to gamble it. Too scared. How about... What do I do? c4? Castle? <laughs> it's such a weird position without knowing what's going on. Mm. I'm just gonna go... If it's on b7, are they threatening to, to jump away? They could be threatening, but I will see it. I think the good thing about that is that if it's a bishop that will be attacking me, if, the, if there's a bishop on b7 and the knight moves, I will see it. Because the queen and the bishop will see each other. It's only the knight moves that are so tricky that you're gonna have your queen or even the king. You could lose the game just because there's a knight on the board that gives you a check and if you don't see where the knight is, you're gonna lose the game. So knights are tricky, but we have traded one pair of knights. 
I don't know what my opponent has played. I would guess bishop e7 or yeah, something here on the seventh rank with the bishops. So I'm gonna develop my bishop and try to castle. I don't think they will be able to castle because of my queen here. They're gonna have to chase my queen away first. So this is really nice for my queen on the diagonal. The pawn is on f6, so they cannot castle. That would be an illegal move. Well, actually, wait. No! <gasps> they can castle. They can castle, but I'm gonna have their king captured. They could lose the game immediately if they castle. If they forget that my queen is on d5, castle king side will be losing on the spot because I can capture the king. <gasps> I've only just realized because it's so difficult to think about checks and being in check. Like, that's not legal in traditional chess. But in Fog of War, the objective is to capture the king so you can step into check. You're just gonna get punished. Oh, the knight is jumping away. Okay. Oh no, wait a second. Is my queen trapped? Have they really played queen d7 earlier? Meaning that my queen has nowhere to go? Because I was thinking of this jump and move earlier, but then the bishop was not protected yet because they either played bishop b7 or queen d7. But I think now my queen is trapped because I'm pretty sure black's move was queen d7 or queen c7 earlier to guard the bishop. And I don't have any squares for my queen. Oh no. Is this gonna be the first gifted subs? I'm gonna have to give up my queen for minor pieces. Oh no. Let's take at least two minor pieces. I'm gonna take this one and this one. They trapped my queen in the middle of the board. That was well played. That was so well played. There's a minor, minor, minor chance that that bishop is not guarded, but I'm pretty sure it is. Queen on d7! <laughs> and they see me now, so they will take it, and then I'm gonna take the knight. And I have two minor pieces for the queen. Wow! <laughs> Anna doing great! Doing great! They've just taken my queen! I better take the knight. <laughs> okay, let's see if we can create some mess at least they see my bishop i think they're gonna take this pawn too everything is hanging up bishop will be hanging this pawn is hanging my position is completely lost completely oh, pawn is taken as a queen only for attacking these lovely pieces i'm gonna save the bishop oh man if, if only I could make it to play bishop f3, but I think my opponent will just capture this pawn on g2 unless, unless they are scared that I already castled. Because if I had the time to castle, they would be hanging their queen. So my one chance here is that they believe that my king is on g1. If they believe that, I have a bit of a chance to, to gamble. Next move, bishop f3. But the thing is, I can only win the queen back if my knight could attack it, because that's the sneaky attack. It's, this a3 knight is not going anywhere as of now. Not going anywhere! Oh, Let's see. Let's see. I could win on time. Um, <laughs> I'm explaining so many of the details that I never have more time than my opponent. But yeah, maybe I should try to play for a time. Pretty sure he's seeing ghosts. I have been seeing ghosts too. It's difficult not to see ghosts. Difficult not to see ghosts in Fog of War. Oh man. Oh man, my queen. The pawn is gone. They, they figured that my king is not here. They figured it out. Okay, uh, time to be brave and castle queen side. <laughs> If a rook comes to the c file at any point, I'm, I'm gonna have to move my king no matter what. Or just shield it. Because I could get... I could get my king captured if I don't move the king away. I'm pretty sure this is an open file. Wait, is it? It is... It is an open file, right? It is fully open. There's nothing on it. I think there's nothing on it. Why is there a question mark next to the game uh, next to the ratings? I think we don't have enough games played. So this is this is just like a provisional rating, I think. 
I haven't played much Fog of War or Variants in general. What did my opponent do? What has changed in the position? I don't see... Is the queen back here or not? I'm gonna move the knight. Just to shield the king. I also shouldn't leave it on the edge of the board, of course. But now the king's safety is so important. It's fogged, Alo. Yeah, the ratings are also foggy. You never know how strong is your opponent. Ado is playing very well. opponent is thinking I don't know if the queen is back on e4 could be back on e4 there could be a rook on c8 I think those are the scary ones for me so I'm just gonna move the bishop here in case oh ho 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 the queen but of course the queen will see me this is the issue with bishop attacks the queen now sees me and will move away the queen will run away Where did it go? <laughs> Where did the queen go? Somewhere on the 6th rank? Maybe queen e6? And this could be hanging. I'm gonna move the king away because I, I do think there is a rook on c8 or there will be a rook on c8. Plus the queen was probably attacking my pawn. The notifications yeah i have many friend requests um, i used to click on every one of them to accept them but at this time i think i probably have that hundreds or if not a thousand or so um friendship requests so i'm gonna have to take some time off my day at some point <laughs> to accept them because i've been accepting every friend request on chess.com is this a bait is that hanging? There is there is a pawn on a6, so the rook cannot be guarding it. And I have taken one of my opponent's bishop. What color of bishop have I taken? Wait a second, what color of bishop have I taken? I took their I took their light square bishop. What is protecting this? I think I think that queen is hanging. I don't think there's a piece that can be guarding it. No light square bishop. The a file is not open. Unless they somehow miraculously brought the rook to a5 or a4, which couldn't be the case because my pieces would have seen them. This is hanging. I think this is hanging. Please tell me my king cannot be captured. I think that was hanging. I think this is a bonus gambit. Uh, but I'm a tiny bit worried in case I forgot about something. <gasps> I want the queen! I want the queen back! <laughs> I need to be careful because my king is out there exposed um back here back here there are no knights on the board there's only a dark square bishop so as long as i keep my king as long as i keep my king on light squares and no open files i'm good because only the rook could attack me and i will see the rook unless it's far from me like the rook cannot move next to me without me not seeing it all right we are back in the game folks we are back in the game <laughs> Let's see what's on the G file. Let's see what's there. Ah! <laughs> we are back. I thought I was just so getting crushed in that game. So getting crushed. I'm still getting crushed on time, so maybe I shouldn't celebrate. Don't celebrate just yet, Anna. Let's trade. Let's see what's here. Is there something here? Nothing. There's nothing on E5. Um, nothing on F5. Those pawns are gone. This is guarded by my knight. Where is their dark square bishop? I would guess there's a rook on e8 and c8. That could be natural for the rooks. Their bishop was earlier on e7. Is it now on f6? Maybe it's on f6. If I push my pawn to f5, I will have more information. I'm gonna push to c. I cannot move the pawn next turn to f6, so there is a bishop there. There, there is... Oh, no, no, sorry, not the bishop. Is there still the pawn? Yeah, they have their pawn on f6. That's the pawn. I can take this, and they don't know that I have so many pieces attacking it. I think their king is on g8, and I can take on g6 because my rook and bishop are attacking it. I don't think... 
I don't think they can be having many pieces defending this square because there is no light square bishop and only the rooks would not be able to so I'm gonna take this with the rook and they will not see my rook I think no the king is not on g8 <laughs> I thought I'm being big brain and sneaky but there's no king on g8 where is the king have they castled queen side no way or maybe they moved it away where's the king I need to find it I need to find the king or win on time <laughs> but I don't like to win on time I normally lose on time I want to try to win the game where's the king what was that move? I'm just gonna... What will I do? I was gonna say I'm gonna double rooks, but what if my bishop is hanging? What if they see? <sighs> I'm gonna try to connect the rooks, but I don't wanna hang this in case, in case it's hanging. What if... I don't know where the bishop is. <laughs> I don't know where the bishop is. What would be a safe move here? Is this safe? Like, my knight is seeing that bishop, so I think if... Okay, there's a rook now on g7. I'm gonna take it. Bishop on e7. And they took back here. They took back with what? With the king? I think the king is here. Check. Oh, <gasps> They don't know that my rook is there, but they could suspect it, though. They could suspect it. Where will the king go? They cannot... They cannot move to h7. I mean, it's legal, but they shouldn't because I'm gonna capture it with the bishop. So now they need to be very careful where they move with the king. Because I am pretty sure they expect the check on the g file. But they don't know exactly where my other pieces are. This bishop, that sneaky sniper could win the game. I mean, I'm up material and I'm up on time. After having a queen down, this is... This is a gift that I have this position at all. I'm just curious where my opponent will go with the king. Where will they go? Let's see. Let's see. Where will they go? Maybe king f7? If the king disappears, then they did a good job. Oh, it disappeared. Where is it? Maybe on f7. Let's give a check. It's not on f7, where did it go? It had to go to h8, f8 or h6. It's on one of the dark squares. It's not on f7. So from g7, they had to go to one of those dark squares. Where is it? <laughs> where is the king? I need to find it and capture it. Their bishop was on e7 earlier and they still have a rook too. Where is their rook on the c file? Thank you so much, Gilles. Thank you for the subscription. I was so close to gifting subs in this game. I was so close. I was down a queen. Oh, free stuff. Okay, that's that has to be free. Even if they can take with the pawn or bishop, but exchange up. Okay, good, 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 good. Now I'm up a rook and a piece. Time for the knight to get into the game because the knight is so sneaky. The king will not see it. I'm gonna have to find that king with the knight. That's the plan, folks. We need to find the king. Where is the king? Oh, well, wait, what if their bishop... Can their bishop make it here? I'm just gonna... How do I do this? I'm gonna place my pieces on light squares so that they cannot capture me. Because they have one bishop left and that's a dark square. Bishop! I found the king! Oh, the king moved. Uh, <laughs> the king moved. But maybe it moved here and now I'm, I'm taking this. Where's the king? How can he disappear? <gasps> Thank you for the game, Adu. <laughs> I was like, how can you constantly disappear with the king? It felt like you're an escapist, a magic trick. Thank you for the game. Guys, wait with the challenges, please, because I want to show the game first. I want to show what happened because my opponent played so well. My opponent trapped my queen. You guys remember the moment? It was a traditional Sicilian, the Swashnikov. We played theory, even though it was fog of war, it was theoretical. I was hoping that a move like this in fog of war is very handy, because it's a sneaky one. My opponent doesn't see me, but they, they expected it. I think they, they guessed very well that my bishop would be there. They attacked me and all this. And here, I was thinking to myself, that this knight jump is not scary because I'm gonna be able to capture the bishop. So at this stage, I had it in mind. 
user Oncliff, thank you so much for the 20 gifted subs. Thank you. Is it because I hang my queen constantly? Thank you so much for appreciating the bottom's gambit as much as we do here. Thank you. You shouldn't have. Thank you. Wait, wait. What's going on on my board? Wait. Wait, is that my... I'm not touching the mouse. Can my opponent too mark squares? Adu, is that you or is that a ghost analyzing the game? What on earth is going on on the board? Did you guys see it? Did you... Do you see that there are new arrows appearing on the board? The GNH files, the bishop, and the seventh rank. I didn't touch the mouse. What is going on? <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> we are playing Fog of War, but I didn't think it was gonna turn into a horror movie. I have never seen anything like this. What on earth? What was that? Guys, wait with the challenges. I don't know. What have I just experienced? Did you guys see it? It's Hikaru. <laughs> Hikaru drawing arrows on my board as well in the middle of his bullet game. That would be very likely though. Oh my. It was my opponent. Okay. <laughs> Adu, thank you. Thank you so much for the game and for this unique experience. Um... This was the closest I've gotten to meeting an actual ghost, so thank you for that. Thank you. Um, <laughs> I was totally not scared. I was totally not freaking out. Oh my. So yeah, at this stage I was aware that if the knight moves, I can take the bishop. But I, I completely forgot that my opponent... I, I think I even said queen d7 or bishop e7. I thought that was gonna be a move on the 7th rank. Um, but I didn't realize that that will mean that next move my queen will be trapped. This is beautiful, even in a classical game, even if it's not fog of war. This would have been such a sneaky and brilliant idea. Queen d7, defending the bishop, and next move, knight to d4. My queen is trapped! <laughs> it is trapped, it cannot go anywhere. It cannot go anywhere without being captured. A piece that I was praising, because if, if the queen can stay here, my opponent can never castle. I mean, they can. In Fog of War, it's legal, but I'm gonna capture the king and win the game, so you shouldn't castle. It's a very nicely, very nicely placed queen, and yet it got trapped in the middle of the board. That was very nicely done, Adu. Well done. Very good job. You blundered your queen on a on a2 for no reason. Yeah, you gave the chances back to me because you were crushing me. You won the queen and then you took on e4. You took on g2. Um, you were very brave to take on g2, by the way, because I was thinking that maybe you believe that I already castled. So it, it was very brave of you to, to take that pawn because my king, there could have been a slight chance that I already castled. Maybe you counted the moves or, or you realized that I still haven't castled. So that was... That was very brave of you, because I was hoping you wouldn't take and I could make it to a 3 with my bishop. I castle knowing though that this file is very, very tricky and I could get checkmated. So yeah, I didn't know you played rook 8. I didn't know if you moved the rook here or the queen, but I knew that I cannot leave my king here. I knew that if I leave my king on the c5, I'm going to be dead. So my idea was to move the king or knight c2. And even though I didn't know you gave me a check, I thought that king b1 was risky in case you move the queen back. So out of these two options, without knowing whether you play the rook or queen move, I thought knight c2 is the only one that will prevent both. Because if you played queen e4 and I move my king to b1, you're going to capture my king. So knight c2 was the only way for me, I believe, to keep the game going. And then you were threatening checkmate. So I didn't know any of this, but I was guessing that there is an attack on the c5 and it just, in Fog of War, I do think that even if you can't see your opponent's pieces and there's no certainty on what's going on, but to overprotect pieces, overprotect your king is the way to go because you don't know what's happening for real. So overprotecting C2 and, and attacking the queen, that was my idea. That Then I saw your queen and you move the queen here and I thought this was a sneaky move by me. I need to get out of the C5, but I also thought that you're attacking my pawn. 
I thought you were attacking my pawn on a2 and I wanted to guard it in case you capture it. So yeah, until here, you're winning the game and you're crushing it. If you just finish development with bishop e7, castle kingside, you would be winning the game. My one chance was that you would get too ambitious and capture the pawn. And of course you couldn't see. You couldn't see if it's guarded or not. Because again, this is fog of war. <laughs> this is fog of war. I don't know where I get the white pieces in every game. I did not ask for it. You, you don't have to challenge me with the black pieces. Let's see. Let's see. <sighs> okay, this is easy. My opponent played d5. I can see it. The Scandinavian. I'm taking the pawn. The pawn is gone, so they have played queen takes d5. I'm gonna attack the queen, and I'm pretty sure they expect me to attack the queen. Where did the queen go? Is it on a5? Is it back on d8? Where did it go? Or did it give a check? Because in the Scandinavian, giving a check isn't the best move, but this is fog of war, and I wouldn't know I'm in a check. And if I don't know I'm in a check, I could lose the game next move. I better shield the king. I better shield it in case my opponent gave a check. Okay, now what happened? Let's just develop. Let's just develop. I don't know if my opponent was sneaky to play the queen move on the e-file or anywhere else, but you gotta be overprotective of your king and of your pieces in general in Fog of War. Okay, getting my king out of the e-file. And now let's try to figure out where the queen is. Maybe it just went to a5. D4 is usually a good idea. There's no pawn on e e5. I, I thought maybe my opponent had time. Actually, no, I would have seen the pawn. I'm still so confused sometimes. Like, can there be a pawn? No, there cannot be, because I would have seen it. I still don't see my opponent's pieces, which means that my opponent has most of their pieces on the sixth rank or behind, because I don't see anything. Maybe the queen is on a5. I'm gonna be... How am, how am I gonna be sneaky? Can I move here? But maybe there's something that could capture me, like a knight here. I'm gonna try to see what's here. If there's a queen on a5 and I could move the knight away. Where are the pieces of my opponent? I see none. I see none. Where are they? still see nothing and i don't see any change in the squares either okay let's go step by step i'm gonna put the toe out there my, my foot my little foot i mean not just one toe i guess the entire foot of the bishop i'm just one step one step that's protected not too adventurous and nothing i can see but the pawn meaning that there's a pawn on g7 and possibly knight on a6 and no pawn on f5 at least that gives me a relatively good move, knight e4, unless there are more pieces attacking. I think that there could be a knight. Maybe just rook e1 for now to see what's going on on the e5 and next move knight e4 because there's no pawn on d5. What did my opponent do? I think knight e4 is a good move. That's overprotected. I think there's a knight here. There's no queen on a5. Okay, they went back to d8 possibly. And that queen could now be on c7 too. There's a bishop here. And I see that knight. I see that pawn as well. <laughs> Let's get rid of the knight. The knights are so tricky in Fog of War. I, I better get rid of it. So I have taken two of their knights. They have a pair of bishops. One of the bishops is here. Where's the other bishop? What did I see earlier? The good thing, you can go back. So you can go back and check. There's a pawn on f5, other pawn on c6. That bishop is perhaps still on c8. And there's a bishop here. I I'm gonna play this move and allow a trade, although I would, I would prefer to keep the knight, but I feel like that's their better bishop. If they take it, I'm gonna take back with the rook. They did not take it. Wait. Why are those squares highlighted? What? What's going on on f7 and g6? Is this a glitch? Or is it my opponent highlighting those squares? What is going on? What? What? <laughs> what is that? What is on those squares? Is there anything on those squares? What is this? Okay, I'm just gonna be overprotective again of my pieces and... Maybe 
Well, actually, will I play this move first? Yeah, in case they take, I'm gonna take back with the bishop, because there's a bishop on d6. The ghost is back, <laughs> indeed. <laughs> the ghost is back. <laughs> okay, I'm assuming there's something on the d file, and my queen is here too, so I don't feel safe about that. I'm gonna protect this pawn. Take back. I have an isolated pawn, but better to have an isolated pawn than no queen. Wise words. Wise words. I think there could be a rook on d8, or at least the queen. No, queen on c7 and rook on d8 is my guess. If the queen is on c7, I should definitely bring my rook here, just to check in with that queen. Just to check in. Let's see. Pablo is making moves in a way that I don't see a thing. <laughs> I don't see any of black pieces. Are you attacking my pawn on d4? Could be the case, but... Oh, there's a pawn on c7. I would have thought there's a queen. You didn't push c6. Oh, if the, if the pawn was on c6, I would have seen it. Of course. <laughs> of course. So is the queen on d8? Did it make it to e7, maybe? There's a pawn on f5, pawn on e6. Is this my turn again? Goodness me. Time is running so quickly and I don't know where my opponent's bishops are. One was here, the other could be on a6. I'm afraid of placing my queen on those squares, or here even. Let's just... You know what, I'm just gonna... Hmm. No, the bishop cannot be on b4 because I would not be able to push. So I could play queen d2. Okay. So bishop b4 will win my my rook but my opponent doesn't know my opponent doesn't know that i'm hanging pieces on that diagonal i'm pretty sure that my opponent could place the bishop on b4 but they cannot see my queen and rook right so maybe they will not <laughs> maybe they will not let's see pablo has been very very smart with their piece placement because I cannot see a thing except for this pawn. There's a pawn here, other pawn here, pawn here, pawn was here earlier, should be there still. And the bishop here. Hmm. Okay. <sighs> What's the move? Pablo, where did you go? I'm gonna prevent bishop b4 for future cases. Just in case. Yeah, you can see the pieces that are captured here next to the board. So both black knights are off and... Um, wait, I was like, when did I lose a piece? Because there are more, but it's because of the capture now. So we have opposite colored bishops on the board. There's somewhere, somewhere, somewhere a light squared bishop. Here, here, that would be my guess. One of those squares. Because that was a pawn on e6 and f5. Pablo, where are your pieces? <laughs> I think c7. Is it protected or is it not? Like, is it possible that Pablo is protecting it with two pieces? Because I'm attacking it with two. What if I just put more pressure? I'm gonna put more pressure on that pawn. Because there's no knight. I knew that I'm not blundering my queen. Just triple attack. Triple attack on c7. That cannot be countered for sure, right? <laughs> I hope. Wait. Pablo, how can you keep making moves that I don't see? Like, I don't see any of black spaces. Just the pawns. Would this be hanging? No, there was a pawn on a5. There cannot be a queen here. And it's still here. Because... Because of what? <laughs> the pawn didn't move here. There's a pawn on a5. This is not hanging. I'm gonna take with the bishop. Thank you so much, Dresden. Thank you for the subscription. Happy Wednesday to you as well. Happy Wednesday. Oh, I'm happy to hear that. Amazing. Amazing to hear that. I think I can take this with the rook because this is not hanging. There couldn't be a queen on a5. Now they see my rook there though. <gasps> don't tell me. No, don't tell me there's a rook somewhere on the seventh rank protecting this. No. Please tell me this is free. It's free. It's free, right? It's free. It, it has to be free because I don't see anything with my queen. The queen would see any piece but the knight and there are no knights. I want the queen. I want the queen again. 
again, but now I need to run away. And I only have four minutes. I need to run. <laughs> Both this gambit accepted, but I wasn't sure because there could have been a chance that one of the rooks made it to the seventh rank at some point because Pablo was very sneaky Very sneaky Yeah, I wasn't sure but when you have three pieces three pieces attacking it's kind of likely that you're good um, but now well, actually, nothing can be attacking my queen now because I would see it. It's only the knight that I wouldn't see. If a rook has attacked me, I would see it. So I'm still good. Let's try to not get ever a back rank checkmate. There's something on d5. And that's not a pawn because there was no d pawn. I guess a rook. The rook could be on d5. We're just gonna make a tiny little step here, opening a back corner for the king. I know it's not about checkmate, um, but capturing the king, but in any case, I don't want my king to be in trouble. Let's bring the rook to the c file. I'm pretty sure there's a rook on d5. Wait, they still have... They have a rook and the bishop. I forgot. No, it's, it's the bishop. I forgot they gave me the rook before. So they gave me the queen and the rook. They have a rook and a bishop. There's a bishop here and a rook somewhere. Let's see what else is here. I'm just gonna push my pawn to observe. Observe what's going on. The bishop is here, pawn's here, and they have somewhere a rook. There's the rook. And the bishop is no longer here because I could push my pawn. I'm pretty sure the bishop is guarding the rook. I could give a check here i'm gonna move on dark squares oh the bishop is here now i see it i think the king is on the back rank i think no actually it's not because i would see it i'm still so confused by fog of war where is the king did it make it to the seventh rank it has to be on the seventh so the rook is here bishop is hanging because the pawn was on a4 there's nothing guarding it the bishop is hanging <laughs> but they don't know where my queen is i think i'm gonna win the bishop no, I'm not gonna win the bishop because it moved. Where did it go? Well, wherever it went, I'm gonna push this pawn. It's a passed pawn. It is a passed pawn. The rook is here. Bishop maybe here? It went somewhere here. And the king has to be on the seventh. I could trade rooks with rook c7. I'm pretty sure that's legal. I mean, not just legal, but a good move. <laughs> because my opponent has a rook and a light squared bishop. As long as I make moves on dark squares, I'm good. Okay, I don't know what that was. What happened? Oh, something moved from... Something moved to d5, because I no longer can push. Maybe that rook? Let's... They might be attacking my pawn. I'm just gonna push first, and then play rook c7. I think there's a rook here, the bishop here, and I think it was attacking my pawn. Not that it matters so much, but I'm not sure I'm gonna find the king with 2 minutes 42 seconds, so I wanna have a second chance for a new queen. New queen! <sighs> Let's see. Let's see. I think it's very difficult for Pablo because the only piece that would be very tricky is the knight. Because even if you're down a queen but you have a knight, imagine you make it to e2 with the knight. And I wouldn't see that piece because neither my rook nor my pawn nor my king can interact with that knight. So you could win the game with a queen and rooks down and all the pieces down as long as you have a sneaky piece and that is the knight the knight could win that way or with the rook you would win if you manage to bring it down to the back rank and if my rook is not on the back rank my king would not see the rook so you would be threatening to capture my king but the knight is the sneakiest for these and that's why i'm i'm happy that i already got rid of i already got rid of the knight so now that i'm thinking if i move my rook the only issue is if somehow that rook will make it to the back rank. I'm gonna keep this here actually. I think that's the safest to keep the rook on the back rank. Now that I have explained it, that's my 
one chance to to ruin my position is if I somehow allow a sneaky rook move to the back rank and I don't realize it, then they're gonna capture my my king. Um, there, there's no rook at the moment on the back rank, so I'm gonna take this, even if it's protected. Yeah, I wasn't sure where the rook is. Maybe it's still on d5? My pawn is gone, so they, they must have taken... Time for me to move the king away, so that there can be no sneaky checks on the back rank. Because you would not see the check if the if the rook is far from your king. The king will not see the rook. I think now this is bulletproof. Because you cannot give a check to my king without me seeing it. Um, and it's time for me to move the queen away too and just push. There's no more light squared bishop. I'm playing against one rook only. And next move I'm gonna have a queen. <laughs> I'm gonna have a queen. Where's the king? Pablo, where's your king? I have 1 minute and 44 seconds to figure it out. Where's the king? Okay, let's start with this one. Even if it's hanging, I wanna see. Oh, the king has to be on h7. Okay, so queen h8 was, was checkmate, but checkmate doesn't win in this game. You need to capture the opponent's... You need to capture the opponent's king. How will I do it? Let's say this move. And even if I lose my queen for the rook, at least I will know where their piece is. Time to take this. Yay! There's the king! So even even if by any chance the rook was somewhere where it could take me and it wasn't, I would still have an extra queen at the end. Thank you for the game, Pablo. This was fun. This was this was complex until I won the queen. Let's roll back and see what happened now with the pieces fully on the board. Fully on the board. The Scandinavian is so tricky if you don't play the normal moves. So normal moves are Queen A5 and Queen D8 and Queen D6. These are the three the three main moves in the Scandinavian. But if you play this or this, that's so tricky in Fog of War because I wouldn't see it. I wouldn't see where your queen is and that's why I played Bishop E2. Because imagine you play this, I just develop, I just make a normal move and my king is gone. <laughs> my king is gone and the game is gone. That would have been bad. <laughs> that would have been bad. So everything was normal. And Pablo played in a way that I couldn't see his pieces for so long. Pablo, I don't know how you do this, but I couldn't see any of your pieces. Now I saw the pawn and I saw the knight, but that was pretty much all the information I had. Oh, I, I don't think I ever realized that I doubled your pawns. That didn't occur to me that I'm doubling your pawns by taking... Maybe I thought that your bishop was there or something. I don't know what I thought exactly, but I don't think I realized there were doubled pawns. This I was expecting. I was expecting I should not move the queen to any of those squares. I thought, if your bishop is here, if your bishop is there... I like this variant. It's kind of like being a detective trying to figure out where your opponent's pieces are. I'm happy I didn't take here, because I was like, I have two pieces attacking. What are the odds my opponent has enough pieces guarding it? But I was like, no, one more piece. And when you have three pieces attacking, then it's almost impossible. Your opponent has enough defense. But even like this, even in this game, in this position, if my opponent goes super defensive, I would have taken. I would have taken because I'm like, it's very unlikely that they figured out what I'm doing and that I can take, right? It's very unlikely. And I would have lost the piece. I would have lost the piece if that happens. It's tricky. Very tricky. But I got to take like this and I got to take the queen. Thank you for the bonus gambit. Thank you. It's a fun variant. It is, right? It is. It is a fun variant. Let me take a quick bathroom break and we're going to be back with more games. I'm going to take more challenges and hopefully I don't need to give No, I'm very happy to give subs. I thought I was going to give subs already for the second game. And this one too was so, so sneaky up until winning the queen. I wasn't sure. This is just a balanced position in Fog of War. This is, this is nothing because I didn't know where your pieces were. I didn't have much information. H4 was the first move of Sleeping Beast. I can see that now because my queen is seeing the pawn. My queen is seeing the pawn. Pog. Pog of war, indeed. 
Okay, h4, and the next move was not d4, not e4, not c4. What is my opponent playing for? Let's see. Can I... Can I see something on this diagonal? G3. Okay, h4, g3, and maybe bishop to g2. That would be my guess. h4, g3, bishop, g2, knight f3, castle, kingside. I mean, it's a decent opening. <gasps> There's a pawn now on d4. At that, that square, see? It disappeared. It's no longer accessible. There's a pawn there. All right, I'm gonna play this move and later c5 and get my knight to c5. I need to be using my knights in a sneaky way. Let's get sneaky. If the pawn captures, I take back with the knight. And there's nothing on before. I know that because my bishop could see those squares. Let's launch everyone. There could be a queen on a4. I mean, maybe, <laughs> maybe, I haven't considered, I haven't considered that there could be a queen on a4, and if that's the case, and I move my knight, I'm dead. Um, so maybe it's a good idea to castle, maybe, <laughs> maybe, hmm, sneaky, oh, oh. Wait a second. Why is my opponent placing the bishop here? There's a pawn on h4. I know the h file is not open. And I know that there's no queen on any of these squares. Because that bishop... The bishop was on g5 earlier. That's why I couldn't move there. Now it's on h6. That's free stuff. Is my opponent giving it to me to then place the queen on h6 and be super tricky it might be actually a good idea it might be actually a super big brain strategy to weaken the king that i'm gonna have to go for it if i don't take it and the queen comes to g5 it was gonna be worse there's a queen on h6 <laughs> danger danger <laughs> there's a queen on h6 now nah, i'm pretty sure of that okay what do we do to survive gotta get the king out of an open file gotta get the king out if there's a bishop on d3, no, but I, I do think g3, bishop, g2. I do I do think the bishop is on g2, right? I mean, there's no guarantee, but that... <gasps> what? That queen moved. The queen moved. <laughs> the queen is no longer on h6. Where did it go? g5. Maybe they think my king is on g8. They might think my king is on g8, but now they know it isn't. So I'm going to place my rook. Oh, wait. What if it's a knight? No, the queen has moved. There's no knight on g5, right? Then I would be in trouble, but... It's the queen, it's the queen, okay. Go away, go away from my king! It's back on h6. The queen is back on h6. I'm just gonna... Offer a queen trade. <laughs> offer a queen trade, go away! Leave my king alone! I'm gonna be super protective of the king's side. Because I'm up a piece. But it's also very airy around the king. Where did that queen go again? It has not traded for my queen. And there's a pawn on h4. So it's no longer on the h5. Maybe it went to e3 or d2. Hmm. Let's see what's on the... Well, I already see what's on the g5. What about taking this pawn? Just, just to look around. Just to look around. You treat the queen like a cockroach. I'm scared. <laughs> I'm more scared, scared of this queen, I think, than of insects. I'm not too bad. I already told you guys, like, I'm not really... I'm not really scared of spiders or any other insects. Cockroach, I, I, I'm not saying I would like to see one, but I also don't freak out if I see one. I've been to many camps and, and uh, just hiking in nature in general, and as a kid, I would... I would try to catch them and no, not hurt them, never hurt them. I also, whenever I find a spider at home, I try to I start, I try to use a hat or a box to, to catch them and accompany them outside. And outside they can be, live happily in the garden, but not inside a house, not inside a house. I would rather have them outside. So I just try to catch them and accompany them to 
to the backyard. Um, there's a pawn on d4. I'm gonna place... Do I wanna place my queen here? Yeah, why not? <laughs> why not? Hopefully nothing is hanging. I don't know where my opponent's knights are. Knights are tricky. I would guess there's a knight on f3 and maybe... Where did the other one go? I don't think it's on d2 because the queen has to be somewhere here. I don't know where my opponent's pieces are, but I know that I'm up a piece. I don't think that there are cockroaches in Ireland, but there are in Spain. I lived in Spain for 10 years and man, if there are cockroaches in Spain. Jeez. Yep. <laughs> you don't want to meet them though. You don't want to meet them. Again, it's not like too scary, but it's not pleasant. Queen g7. And my opponent played something. What is the something? There's a pawn on d4. So I think... I think I could move my knight to e4. But I, I like that now everything is super guarded. Maybe I should just leave this as of now where they are and try to develop this bishop here or here but i don't see what's there it might be captured if i go there i'm just gonna play bishop b7 and bring a rook to the c file and the rook will see what's on the c file that's the plan <laughs> that's the plan No cockroaches in Hungary. No, I never said that. I think in Ireland there aren't. But Ireland is different. It's an island and somehow they didn't manage to swim through the sea. I have no idea. <laughs> Just don't, don't listen to me. I don't know. I don't know. But um, I think we were talking about insects the other day with Kevin. Some re it somehow came up with, through a Reddit post, random topic about insects in general. And, and I think he said that in Ireland there aren't. And I was like, wow, I thought they are everywhere. I thought they are everywhere. <laughs> Is there something? No, I don't see anything. Bishop here. That's safe. That is safe. I'm happy to hear that, Chavela. Well done. Well done. What? Whoa, 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 whoa. What happened? Okay, rook here. I don't have much time. I don't have much time. I need to find my opponent's pieces and the king because even though I'm up a piece, it doesn't guarantee you win, especially when I'm running out of time. I'm running out of time! I think it's time... There has to be a trap. I don't think this is hanging. Maybe there's a bishop on g2 that will capture my bishop. So I'm not gonna go for that bait. But I also don't want to move this knight in case this is hanging. Imagine there's the other bishop on the long diagonal and maybe somehow... Is the f file open? It cannot be open, right? So tricky to move your pieces without ruining the position. There's, some, there's a pawn on d4. I'm just gonna move this bishop for now, and then I could capture here, because this is guarded. I'm pretty sure there's a bishop on g2 that was pinning my pawn, because that had to be the opening, h4, g3, bishop, g2, I think. I think. Four minutes left, I'm up a piece, but I have no clue where everything else is. Let's trade. There's the bishop! I see you! I see you! I see you! Okay, if they take with the bishop, I should be careful not to take with the knight in case there's a bishop, another bishop on the long diagonal. Okay, they didn't take. They are pushing e4. I'm just gonna drop back. Come back. Safe. Be safe. Wait a second. Oh no, this might... I might have place the bishop on the wrong square because this is hanging and these are hanging and if i take on g2 they will take on f6 first oh no i'm losing a piece 
if not more stuff if I'm not careful. How will I do this? I should have placed the bishop on a8. I think if I take, they will take here. Do I? Well, they, they may not know that my queen is there, but... Okay, let's try. I'm praying they don't know that my queen... <gasps> They have not castle. The rook is on age one. Maybe they castle. No, they couldn't castle queen side. The king is still on e1, and their pawns on f2 and h4. I'm scared of taking this. I'm scared that if I take it, there's something on the long diagonal. I'm gonna play queen g6. And now that I know that this rook is here, maybe my bishop is not hanging. I thought that they castled and they could take it with the king, but now it's either that there's a queen. Wait, my bishop is gone too. So there was a rook or a queen on the d5, but it's not too bad because I, I see this rook. I'm going to take it. This is, this is also hanging though, unless they think I have it protected. They might think that this is a trap. They might think that... What's the material count at this rate if they take my knight? And they have taken it. Is that the rook or a queen there? I'm too scared to check. I'm gonna come back with this bishop and shut down whatever is there. Just close that d5. So I have taken a rook and two bishops. And they have taken two knights and a bishop. We are good. Material, material wise we are good. There's something... <gasps> Wait, 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 the king, what, what happened? Okay, I saw the king and they took on c1. Maybe that's their queen now. I'm guessing it's the queen taking. And they have a rook on d d7. Um, And they have two knights. The knights are so tricky. Where are the knights? I'm running out of time. They have two knights somewhere. But where? Is this guarded? I don't think it is. I don't think this is guarded because the knights cannot be here. <sighs> okay, Anna, be brave. They no longer have a bishop. The rook must be on d7, queen on c1. I'm gonna take this. Yes! <laughs> it was just a pawn, but you know, it was a bit scary. Queen here, rook here, king here. And they have two knights somewhere, but where? Where are the knights? It's not here. Not here. Where do they have their knights? It couldn't be on d2 because the queen went back. Do they still... It's not on b1. a3? Where are the knights? It's so mysterious because they are not on normal squares. Maybe on e2? There could be a knight on e2. Where are they? <laughs> oh no, it's my turn. Oh no. Okay, uh, I think the rook is still here. And nothing is attacking my king yet. I'm gonna play... I'm just scared of my king being left alone. Because I wanted to play this move. Maybe just discovering with the bishop for now. There's nothing here. Where are the knights? Where are my... Oh, there's a knight! Please tell me. Is there a queen on the third rank or not? Wait, they took there with the queen, then I moved. Then they moved something. Then I moved here. If I take it, am I hanging my queen? Am I hanging my queen if I take it? I have no time. Okay, this, this either is really good or really bad, but I don't have time. I didn't have time, but luckily, luckily it's, a, it's not a queen, it's just a knight. Uh, that knight is now gone. I have no time. I think the knight is here. I think the king is here. Oh, let's go here and pray. Please tell me they will not see. Please tell me they will not see my queen. I only have 29 seconds left. I'm up material. <gasps> 25 seconds. They did realize that I'm giving check, but they didn't know where my piece was. Thank you for the game sleeping with this was so close Let's check the game. Let's check the game guys wait with the challenges, please. No, no, no. I didn't mean to add a note Ah, I don't know how to not Wait, did I? Oh Please wait for the challenges 
Please wait with the challenges. Okay, what happened? This was really close. This was really close because I was running out of time and the two knights are so scary. Oh, it was a knight that took on C1. Wait. I didn't realize when I said that there has to be a rook on d7 that it couldn't be. I already have captured the second rook. That was that was my mistake. I, I miscounted the rooks. I thought there was a rook on the board, but we already took two rooks. So then it would have been obvious that it's a queen that has to be on d7 and the knight that took on c1. I never put the pieces of the puzzle together that there is no rook. So the heavy piece on d7 had to be a queen. It had to be a queen. Wow. That is so basic and yet I didn't realize it during the game. I also didn't know where my opponent's knights are because I couldn't see them. I was guessing one would be on e2, not on d2 or d3. I thought there couldn't be a knight on d2 because I was so sure that with fog of war, that is this position, <laughs> I thought that when my rook was gone, so this capture I thought was a queen capture. I thought it was a queen from e3 or d2 taking my rook. And that's why I thought that there's no knight on d2. What a difference when you see it this way. What a difference. It was a knight taking it. And then I was like, okay, I, I'm pretty sure this pawn is okay to take. Unless there was somehow a queen miraculously appearing on c3. But I, Oh no, it was just taken, so I could take it. Yeah, I thought it's a queen on c1. That's why I took the pawn. And this here, honestly, my first instinct was to place the queen on f3 to make it to the back rank but just in case just in case there was gonna be something capturing me through the third rank i played bishop f3 just in case to observe what happens to the bishop and then when it was captured i was still worried that maybe if my opponent came back because i thought the queen was on c1 and if the queen went back to e3 in the meantime i would be hanging my queen here and i had half a half a minute left this was scary, but in the end it worked out. And after this check, I think here it's really difficult for Sleeping Beast because you expect the check, but you don't know what square I'm using. You don't know if I went here or here. So you need to be aware of both checks and move the king accordingly. It was tough, but I almost lost some time. Sleeping Beast, well done. Well done. It wasn't close, come on. Well, it's very easy to say it wasn't close when you see the pieces and you know the result. But I had 30 seconds left in a position where I'm almost hanging my queen. This queen, when I take here, I don't know if I'm losing my queen or not. In this moment here, if, you, if this is what you see and your move is queen takes f3, I pretty much, I pretty much have accepted the fact that I either am winning hopefully soon if my queen is on f3 and alive then i'm gonna be soon in a winning situation but it could also be the case that something is guarding the knight and then i'm hanging my piece i'm hanging a queen so it's very easy to say in hindsight that it was easy but at the moment when i need to take on f3 i don't know with certainty if it was guarded or not it was pretty much a gamble and I said it. I said it was a gamble because I had no time. If I think if I had more time, I might not have taken it. I might have just accepted that I lost the bishop because it is too dangerous, too risky to take here unless you somehow manage to figure out where the queen was. I didn't know the queen was here. And even if I knew it, the king or a knight could still be guarding this one. So there's no certainty that this is not defended. There's no certainty. That's why Fog of War is cool. It's, it's not like if you're up a piece, you're winning by default. And that part, Sleeping Beast, you did very well. Because I expected your bishop to be on g2. First of all, I didn't know your queen was here. I didn't know any of this. I didn't know where your knights are. I didn't know where your queen is. But this... Oh, you didn't know that this was not protected. Because you saw my bishop, but you didn't know if it was guarded. I should have moved my bishop to a guarded square. But I also didn't know your bishop is not protected. This was tricky. This part was tricky. I thought you castled and that you would take here and then take my bishop. It looks so different when you see the pieces for real. Because 
during the game. This is just guessing. This is just guessing where's what. Thanks for the game though. This was fun. This was fun. Let's play. Let's play one more. Let's play one more. I think I have time for one more game. So let's have a final challenge. If I lose, I'm gifting at this rate 10, 10 subs because I survived so many not so easy games. I'm gonna be gifting 10 subs if I lose this final game. Let's use the random number generator. So one, two, three, four, five. Oh, wait, Gotham, you're here. If it gets through, this is your game because you were supposed to get the previous game. I think it's working. I think it's working. Good luck, Gotham. Good luck. Good luck. Okay, um, E6 is a great move in Fogo 4 too, right? <laughs> Always the French defense. I'm too predictable. I'm too predictable. Too predictable. Time to complete the French defense. There's no pawn on D4. What is my opponent playing? No pawn here, no pawn here, no pawn here. Let's develop. Maybe it's knight f3, g3? Something I cannot see yet. Bishop here to see the diagonal. The pawn is on g3. I think it's a fianchetto. Areti, knight f3, g3, bishop g2, castle, kingside. I'm expecting. Let's castle. Mm. Push c5 and expand to see what's here. Nothing is here. Develop the knight. I don't see any of my opponent's pieces yet. Let's expand further. Still see nothing. Where are your pieces? Gotham, where are your pieces? Is it like d3, g3? So very solid third rank development. I think there's a knight on f3 and not a pawn. So I'm going to venture my bishop to g4. Yes. <laughs> and I think there's a pawn on d3 as well. That would be my guess. Hmm. Let's see. I would like to push, but I think there's a pawn here. Maybe double fianchetto. What's with my opponent's pieces? Let's let's guard this square for now because I might play queen c7, and I definitely don't want to hang my queen later. There's nothing here yet because I would see it. But just to be super safe, I'm gonna do the double wrinkle, both sides, double wrinkle there. <laughs> Guarding this square, this square, then I could move my queen away safely. I think nothing is in danger yet. <laughs> no, no piece of mine will be hanging. This is a bit vulnerable, but the bishop would be on g2. It cannot see it. I think I will play queen c7 and at some point e4, but for now, queen c7, bring the rooks. Just prepare for pushing. But there might be a bishop on b2, and in case I push, this could be taken. Let's just bring the rooks for now. At least this one. Okay, my opponent has played something. What is the something? Let's go. I think there might be a bishop seeing my knight and that will destroy my king's side, but I gotta do something. I'm hoping there's a queen on the d5, maybe on d2, and uh, things will get spicy on the open file. But this is a bit of a gamble, because I, I do think that <laughs> there's a chance that there's a bishop seeing my knight, which is unpleasant. So it, it might have been just a very bad move, e4. But we'll see. We'll see. Where are your pieces, Gotham? Where are your pieces? The bishop f6. I could consider to take here first. Because I do think there's a bishop on g2. But they will take my rook. Oh, they are attacking. They are attacking my bishop. So probably there's a queen on d1 and they are worried about this pin. But I'm pretty sure there's... A bishop on g2 so if i take with the pawn i'm seeing the bishop I'm, I'm winning a piece i'm winning a piece here i still think this is a bit of a 
<laughs> bit of a vulnerable spot if there is a dark square bishop staring at my knight. Wait, what happened? Oh, they took it. Um, I think this is hanging, but just to be safe with the knight, I'm gonna trade and then try to deal with this situation. I think now there's a queen on f3. Don't they have a pawn? Wait, when I pushed e4, there is a pawn. Yeah, they, they never wanted to take here. Maybe they thought I don't have a bishop on d6 and then the pawn was pinned. I think they didn't realize that they could have taken. So I want a piece, but there's a pawn on d3. Potentially still this bishop here. I'm gonna push. Ah, there was no bishop on b2 or it is there, but it's blocked by the knight. It might have been the case that it's still there. And pawn on e3, which has now taken here. <gasps> I'm gonna take with the knight and be sneaky. I'm super sneaky because I'm attacking the queen and I don't think my opponent sees that knight. They, they might guess it. They might guess it, but I don't think there's a piece of my opponent that could see it. If the bishop is here, knight is here, they cannot take this. Sneaky, sneaky horsey. Knights are so good in fog of war. You can make a huge comeback if you have a knight, I do believe. They are miraculous pieces in fog of war even more so. They would see the knight disappear. True. <laughs> I thought that was sneaky, but you guys are right that the queen... That queen was seeing my knight before, because it's an option to capture, and it's no longer there. They see the pawn now, not the knight. Okay, it was totally obvious that I played it. <laughs> it was Anyway, it's a nicely placed piece. It's standing well. Where did the queen go? Where is the queen? There's a pawn on h3. Let's not forget, there's a pawn on h3. Also, also, is there... There's a pawn on f2 as well. Where did the queen go? I'm gonna... This is their knight. They no longer have a light square bishop, so I could place my queen here. And there's the queen! I found it! I found it! We are offering a trade. Offering a trade. If they take, I'll take with a pawn. And I keep this beautiful knight, that horse in the center. Up a piece and I have a bit more time than in my previous games, at least. Let's see. Oh, sorry. I just wanted to close the window. Um, There's a pawn on d3, queen on g2. So this is a trade they are offering, that knight jumped from c3. There might be a bishop on b2. How will they take? I will guess with the pawn. Yeah. The f is not open, right? I think there's a pawn on f2 that, that did not disappear. I think there is a pawn there. Mm. I will attack it. <laughs> I think I think I'm attacking it. I think it's a queen that's guarding it, and I'm attacking it with two pieces. But again, this is the kind of situation that if they make a move and I don't see. I, I can't really take. I should not. It's too much of a gamble to take a pawn when I know that at least one piece is defending it, if not two. Because they could play a move like rook to e1. Let's see. Okay, uh, I'm pretty sure that this pawn um, is not a good idea to capture. They still have a bishop. A light squared bishop was traded. Dark squared bishop possibly on b2. I'm gonna place my rook. Hmm. There's a pawn on h4. I'm gonna place my rook here and double on the d file or e file. I have both options. They only have a bishop, two rooks, and a queen. But I still see nothing. Maybe the just double on the d file is a better idea. Like, I could try to get that pawn. Oh, we are trading. Well, there goes my open file. <laughs> but at least I know that they no longer have a bishop and it was on b2, I think. Unless it came from somewhere else, but... 
it's gone now. We are down to two rooks and a queen for my opponent. There's nothing here, so I can move my bishop here. I'm trying to push and see if there's a king on g1. I think there could be, but most likely there's this pawn on f2 still. Unless it moved to f4 at some point. I want to push d3. Let's see what's going on. There's a pawn on f2. Okay, they take... Man, can I take it? <laughs> Is there... Okay, their queen was on g2 earlier. Did it make it to f3? And if there's a rook on d1, then I, I can't take it. But I'm not sure. For now, I will not take it. I could take it later. I'm just gonna wait. I wanna play this safe. I don't know. Maybe pushing d4 wasn't the best idea, but I wanted to see what's on that diagonal. It's a pawn on g3, pawn on h4. So at least I know I'm not getting mated on the g file. That's not an open file. They have pawns here, 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 and here, I would guess. So the c file is open. This pin could be annoying, but I'm pretty sure since they no longer have minor pieces, I should be able to take this with the rook. Even if they have a rook on c1. I think we are good here. I think we are good. They may not have expected me to have doubled rooks on the d5. Something happened and I don't know what that is. Let's just move out of that c file because I do think there's a rook here. Do you think there's a rook there? <sighs> I would love to play rook d1, but what if there's a queen on f3 and rook on c1? They're pushing b4. Is there something here? I don't think so. I'm gonna... I'm gonna take it. I could take it with the rook too, but... Is there a threat? Is there something I'm missing? Maybe they have a queen here and they want to play rook c7? Even then, I think I'm good. I should be very careful though, if there's a sneaky check on the back rank, I will not see it. If their queen can make it to the back rank, I'm gonna have to move my king away. I think it's time for my king to move away, because if I get a check on b8 and I don't see it, they'll capture my king. Something happened and I don't know what that is. Let's just come back here. Because I'm guarding this square, so that check of the queen, if it gets there, is fine. I need to keep guarding f5. I need to protect this square. I think we are good, but I don't know where exactly my opponent's pieces are. I would guess the queen here, rook here was earlier, but I don't know if it's still the case. Pawns here, king here. I could try... To move the rook somewhere but i not i am not sure where the queen and rook moved and it i could hang the rook if i don't choose the right square this pawn is i think hanging because they pushed b for earlier you know what i'm a pawn grabber <laughs> let's take it and then i come back and i push my pawn play it safe because i don't want to move this queen away i'm afraid that at some point i'm gonna get the check and I will not see the check, and my king would be dead. Let's come back here. Let's come back. So, my king is safe. This is guarded. They can't get to me through the back rank, because I would have... I would have seen it if both pieces made it to the back rank. The queen was the sneaky one. I'm just gonna start pushing this pawn. I think that's a safe strategy. And as I said, if one thing I learned from these few Fog of War games is to be overprotective of your king, overprotective of your pieces, so everything is multiple times protected. Oh, the pawn has moved. Oh, 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 okay. This is something that I probably should be careful about because this pawn is now on e5, and if the queen makes it to the diagonal, then my king is in trouble. Time to shelter the king. <laughs> F4. Okay, pawns on h4, g3, f4, and e5. That's still fine. They might want to push f5, but... I think I can take it. Or I could play queen f5. Yeah, let's play queen f5. 
I see the rook. I see it. <laughs> Where's the queen? Maybe here. And wait, if they push that four, does it mean that? Okay, the rook is gone. But if they push that pawn, does it mean that I can give a discover check by moving the rook? Where do I move it though? It's, I'm not sure if it's a check or not. And I think this pawn is guarded. I would like to play rook d3, but... <sighs> is that a good move? What about trying to observe? No, what if the rook is on e1? I was like, <laughs> I'm gonna try to discover what's there. No, let's be safe. There's nothing here. Where's the king? Is it on the second rank? <gasps> I see the queen now. Let's trade. Okay, there's the rook. And the king... Now the rook is here. So I, I have enough time to place the rook here. <gasps> I found the king! I found the king! I found you! I see you! I see you! Thank you for the game, Gotham. Thank you. This was fun. I wasn't sure... Like, obviously, you know that you're up a piece, but what I said about the king, it could turn the tables if at some point you allow your opponent to get to the back rank. For instance, once we have traded here, my worry was with the queen here, if you, for instance, let's say here, if you play this move, I come here, and you make it to this diagonal with the queen, I need to be extremely careful because if you place your queen on b8, I will not see it. I will not see the piece there and you, you would win the game next move if I don't realize it's there. That's why I played later in a way that I would have my king. I would have my king on h7. I will not accept more challenges because I have my coaching session starting soon, folks. So we're going to be switching to Magic the Gathering soon. But thank you so much for challenging me. Thank you to those of you who played against me. I should have lost more games. I think I was not supposed to win all games. This shouldn't have happened. So I'm going to be gifting subs regardless. I think I owe a couple of gifted subs to the community. I'm going to be gifting subs in a moment. I just wanted to check the game because I thought this was really exciting. And... What I, what I said about overprotecting everything, making sure that your king cannot get a sneaky check from the back rank because you would not see the check. And this check is the other option. So I was just constantly keeping the queen here in case this queen, because I didn't know where this queen is. This queen could very well be on f3 or f4. And if you get the check from f5, you will not see it and your king is captured. So you gotta be super careful about the squares around your king. Not the ones right next to it, because those can be seen by your own king, but diagonals and, and in general, back rank checks. And this became sneaky too once you push the pawn, because I know that the diagonal will be vulnerable, that's why I pushed. I didn't want to place the queen here in case you could win the queen, like I didn't know where your queen is, so I thought this was safer, and now even if your queen was somewhere where it could take me, um, I would just trade. This was tricky and I I think it, this was the moment at some of yeah somewhere here I wanted to move the rook and give a discover check but there was nothing on g1 there was nothing on g1 Prophylex thank you so much for the two months I really appreciate it thank you this was fun I think once we reach this end game oh I didn't know you're about to promote because I was so focused on the check and hunting down the king but once my rook gets to the second rank um, it's already very difficult for white to make a miraculous comeback because even if you move the king away Now I see your pawn. Wait. So, oh, now, now you push. Sorry So instead of pushing the pawn if you move the king, I would just start pushing my pass pawn and Maybe place the king on g7 just in case your rook can somehow make it to the seventh. I would guard this pawn um, There's still some fighting chance in case you get the rook to the seventh and push but how do you get through if I have my pieces blocking? It's, it's a tough one. Thank you for the game, Gotham. You fought so well. You fought very well. You fought really well. Thank you so much for watching. This was streamed live on my Twitch channel where I stream full time, five days a week. Do catch us live next time or follow the highlights and the votes here on my YouTube channel. In either case, I really appreciate your support. Thank you so much again and bye for now. Until the next time.